penal substitution is conceivably the greatest demonstration and validation of God's mercy. It's the reality that Jesus Christ exchanged or substituted his flawless, righteous life, suffered and died instead of or for sinners who are deserving of God's wrath and justice. The Bible teaches everyone is born under a sentence of God's condemnation through the sin of Adam. In addition, we have all violated God's moral laws, his Ten Commandments. These two truths rightly hold every human being throughout history accountable to God's justice. The purpose of the penal substitutional death of Jesus Christ was to perfectly satisfy God's demanded justice and to mercifully pardon the guilty who by faith are going to trust in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of their life. This is absolutely impossible for anyone except for God himself to accomplish. I've heard it stated, the guiltless for the guilty. Although true, it's much more than that simple statement. In fact, it's an awesome, overwhelming truth that Jesus Christ, God manifest in the flesh, put himself in the place of us guilty criminals. In the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 6 through 10, the Bible states it like this. For while we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would even dare to die. But God shows his love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Therefore, we have now been justified by his blood much more shall we be saved from the wrath of God. For while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son. Much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. In other words, the perfect life of Jesus Christ paid the full ransom of our insurmountable debt because of our violation of God's law and our inherent sin having redeemed us from the just penalty due because of it, wrath and judgment. As the Gospel of Mark states in chapter 10, verse 45, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. There are several extremely important reasons why we need to grasp the depth of this critical soul-saving transaction. First, it helps us understand our definite need of being rescued or saved from God's justice. Second, it aids in our acknowledging that in and of ourselves we are incapable of doing anything about our desperate sinful condition. Third, it demonstrates the severity and absolute holiness of God. And fourth and finally, it's a tremendous validation of God's love toward us, bringing the total doctrine into the right perspective. Friends, Jesus Christ received the full penalty that was due for our sin, enduring it upon himself, the complete wrath and justice of God. That's the amazing reality of the penal substitutional death of Jesus Christ.